but I wasn't at the match that day. You know, Ben's mum was there and his stepfather was there. But I got a phone call about 12 o'clock or so. Ben had been knocked out, you know, and having played rugby, I didn't think too much about it. I thought, OK, he'll, he'll come round, he'll be OK, you know, because you expect to take a knock, you know. But uh, then I got further phone calls and I realised he, he hadn't come round and things weren't looking good as such. And I suppose the seriousness of it all hit me when uh, I met the consultants and they explained to me that Ben's injuries were similar to that of a car crash, you know, so uh, traumatic brain injury and his chances of survival were 1% and if he did he would be in a vegetative state so uh, I suppose as a parent it's just you can't expect anything worse you know and uh, we went in to see him, he was on the life support machine and uh, I suppose I just knew, and I just knew he's not coming out of this. They carried out the test and Ben was pronounced dead and as a result of that we were approached by the the, the donor team. I suppose we were looking for a miracle that day and over the past couple of days and we thought well why you know Ben somebody else is a miracle as such you know and I suppose at the time it helped us sort of with the grieving process but uh, it went on to help five other people you know survive. Initially we thought it was a one-off concussion that it caused Ben's, you know, uh, death as such. We now know, having gone through the video of the evidence on the coroner's court, you know, it, it highlighted that Ben was involved in three major collisions. And after each collision, he was sort of assessed by the coach, you know, for concussion. You actually see him putting the finger in front of Ben and, and tracking. And as we know now, you know, it's, it's just it said he picked that up through his years of playing rugby, that this is what you do. No, there was guidelines in place, but he wasn't aware of them. That was the, the whole thing that came out of the inquest, just a lack of awareness because the coach, ref and players and parents had never been made aware of this. And Karen says now, you know, Ben's mum says now, if she had been aware of this guideline, she would have actually walked on. She would have had the confidence to go on and go, Ben's clearly shown signs of concussion. You know, she, she was getting quite verbal and, and sort of loud at the side of the pitch. She knew something was wrong. And the ref at one stage told her to calm down, Mum. You know, and it's like she says, she's the, she was the least qualified on the sideline that day, but she knew something was wrong. There's a culture around rugby where, you know, you take it on the chin and you play on and man up, all these terms. Ben saying, I can't remember the last tackle. They even laughed about it, and Ben himself laughed about it, you know, feeling, I can't remember, as if it was a joke. And now they realise that was an opportunity. Concussion can be fatal. And I know the unions seem to have a big problem with that, especially the Northern Hemisphere. Southern Hemisphere have it in policies. They warn about concussion and the dangers of playing on with concussion. The tragic thing is, this was preventable. And, you know, all it took was a card with information on it to be handed out to the players and pupils. Uh, that's sad reflection on the sport if they can't do that. I suppose that's part of the campaign. It's highlighting that we need to look after our children in sport because this just isn't a, a rugby problem. That's why I want it built into the school curriculum. It makes so much sense because you have a captured audience as such. And it's a life skill. You know, everybody goes on to play their sports or whatever, but concussion can happen in a schoolyard. And it's, it's awful to think it takes a fatality to change the way people think. Why don't we stop mincing our words? We, we seem to, you know, especially the home unions, we don't like the term concussion can be fatal. When I say that, people look at me as if, oh, you know, it's the truth. As simple as that, you know, and, you know, I have a death certificate to prove it.